Hello everyone, my name is Agustin Caruso and welcome to Our Station. In this episode, I'm going to talk about which are my 10 favorite plugins for Figma, which is a design tool for web designers and UX designers. And between you and me, let's be honest, it's the best design tool that, that we have access to. And the, be the best thing of all, it's actually free. So you can, you can actually extend and uh, make it super powerful with all of these plugins that I'm going to talk about. And yeah, you know, catch and Adobe XD. All right, so let's get let, let's get to the video. This was off. All right. All right. So the first plugin that uh, I want to talk about it's one that's called Arc. It doesn't have a lot of configurations, but it's quite useful for one thing and one thing only, which is bending text. So you can either use this slider here up and down to bend it or you can put a percentage and that's it. <laughs> it, only, it only has one option, then you can apply it and, uh, and that's it. It's, it's going to save you a lot of time if you are actually trying to do some bending text. Alright, so second one, it's pretty famous, it's called Unsplash because everyone knows this um, this website that you can get a lot of royalty free images but here in Figma they actually have um, a plugin which makes life way more easier for us so it's as simple as searching something right let's go for YouTube it's gonna go to its database and I just click this image and that's it it's imported, super easy. Uh, before this plugin existing, we needed to go uh, outside onto the page, download the, the photo, imp uh, import it here. It was a lot of a, it was quite a hassle. But now it's uh, one click. All right, third one. It's another one that's super easy to use, but it's also a, a, a time saver because, like, how did you do blobs before? Uh, like, you had to create something like this, it, it, it would take a long time for do something that it's actually uh, quite easy to do with a plugin, which is called blobs. So we're gonna come here, make a blob, and it only has two options, which is the complexity and the contrast. And once you create it, well, in this case, it actually created one that's huge, but there we go. I'm gonna show it to you. I actually love using this for, I used this for my last client project because it wanted a lot of blobs. So we can uh, increase the complexity and the contrast and we can keep making randomized blobs. And that's the, and that's the beauty of this, right? And after this, it's super customizable because we still have the points, right? And you can also, of course, change the color and everything. It won't be, there we go, super customizable, super easy to use. Next, all right, the next plugin that I use a lot, it's called Waves. And I love this one, because it allows you to create, all right, uh, it's actually called uh, Get Waves. My bad, all right. So here you have a lot of options. If you want to have a smooth wave, you have a ladder wave, you want to have a peak wave, and you hear the number of peaks, and in here, if you want to invert it or not, so what I'm actually going to do is select my frame and then create it. Oops. And it's as simple as that. Now we have a wave, a, a, a randomized wave created just for us. This is beautiful. Fifth one, it's a mix between content reel and lorem ipsum. I used to use uh, solely content reel, but now uh, I think last, mo last month they updated to a new version which doesn't have a lot of the functions that I used to use. So, all right, so it's very useful in cases that we have a lot of information that repeats itself. So we want to create some dummy content, but if you want to showcase a wireframe for our, for our clients, we don't want to show them um, like this, right? Like. Uh, this title is repeating, we don't have pictures here, so it's, it's not very consistent, it's not very professional, even though it's a wireframe. So what I like to do is I like to use content reel 
for as an example changing the name right so I click on uh, on the name that I created here and I'm going to randomize it here or yeah that's the thing you used to we used to, we used to randomize it on content reel but now we have to choose one so let's say Robert Fox and in this one it's gonna be called Albert Flores and it's as simple as that we also have uh, the option to have phone numbers addresses dates and the thing about the lorem ipsum option they have here is that right now it only allows you to create one lorem ipsum so it, this might be a bug or this might be a feature that they they have overlooked so that's why i say that i i like to use a, pl a plugin that's called lorem ipsum because this gives me something that's way more customizable like how many words and sentences so i can generate here and it's it's very random so i like this one content reel plus lorem ipsum to deliver consistent uh, wireframes to your customer all right next one it's called pattern hero this is also one that saves us a lot of time so let's say i want to replicate this uh, this vector so instead of okay coming here all right let me just replicate this a thousand times like this is fine to do if you only need this right like have four columns in two rows but what, what if you want 16 right or a thousand and it's super easy to come here to plugins let's go to pattern pattern hero and in here you're able to choose like how many rows do you want how many columns do you want and what's the padding that you want right let's say I want one padding and as soon as I click it that's it and, I'll, and in this can go to infinity that's the beauty of it <laughs> yeah I created something that's a little bit big but all right you get my point pattern hero for creating uh, easy patterns this one is very good for, for, for designers and it's called image palette where we can choose any picture that we want and it's gonna uh, extract five colors from that picture. So it's as, it's as easy as clicking this button and that's it. This is beautiful for, for, for having inspirations and looking at a lot of fo photographs uh, that you wanna extract the color and, and actually start using colors that are more related to real life. So this is a, a very fast and, and optimized way of doing it. I used to do this manually because I, I think at some point you need to actually learn how to extract colors and see colors and, and, and photos in on, and on real life, but this, this saves time as well. All right, this is an interesting one. This is a plugin that's called Image Tracer uh, that it allows you to create vector files from photos, but not all photos, right? So here as an example i have a, a leaf that it's a png right it's it's an image here and it has a transparent background but this plugin only works if we if we're using a, a black and white image so what i'm gonna do here is um i'm gonna access this image and i'm gonna turn it into a, a black image so we can start using the image tracer because we come here image tracer and then Please trace it vector and here it is now it's a vector with all of its points and now I can also change the color so this is also super useful for my my work with, with clients all right the nine one it's called tiny image compressor and this also saves me like 30 seconds per image that I export because instead of going uh, away into my uh, browser and go to to tiny png or any other image compressor website all i have to do is come to this image click the export uh, tab go to the plugin that's called tiny image uh, all right tiny tiny image compressor and it starts running and it's as simple as clicking compress and it's going to export our file now there's one thing that you should know here that these settings here are going to be um, inherited from here so if i want to say let's say i want to change it to 2x and i want to export a J, J, P, J, jpg in portuguese uh, you have to refresh it here all right see two times and then compress simple as that and the tenth and final one it's called maps call which allows us to create maps with ease Absolutely. 
And so in this case, you're gonna need to have a, a map, um, yeah, Mapbox account, which is free for, for you to create. But after that, you, you're allowed to create a, a frame from, from anything, right? So if I want to click here, it's going to take a while. There we go. See, so this is the picture that I exported. Looks awful, but you get my point. All right, so those are the 10, um, 10 plugins that I use a lot inside of Figma. And the thing is, there are thousands. So it's it's a beautiful time right now to jump into, into Figma because it's free, has a lot of plugins that save a lot of time. And if you want to know more about Figma tutorials and Webflow tutorials, uh, I'm going to keep posting them on my channel. Right now, I'm very... Uh, I'm starting to grow, so I'm tiny, a tiny channel. But if you subscribe and if you leave a comment or if you leave a like, it's gonna motivate me to keep producing this kind of content. And I wanna thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.